David Brewster here with a new episode of 3 for All. This is 3 Steep Lukather Licks from 2023. That's right from this year. Some fresh and tasty licks hot off the fretboard. Batoto's been on tour this year, and I'm a huge Steve Lukather fan. That goes all the way back to when I first started playing guitar, and I was hopelessly obsessed with Eddie Van Halen. And then I started reading interviews with him, and I noticed he was mentioning his buddy Steve Lukather, or his pal Steve Lukather. And I thought, wait, Steve Lukather from Toto? And Eddie are pals or friends? And then immediately, Steve Lukather just rocketed to the top of my, you know, favorite players list. And he's been there ever since, you know, a huge influence, great guitarist, love his work with Toto, Los Lobotomies, all of his session work and stuff. Steve Lukather's an absolute legend of the guitar. So aside from Steve's notable and historic work with Toto, you know, Grammy Award winning, you know, just a hugely successful band, you know, his solo material, Candyman is a brilliant Steve Lukather album. I love Candyman. And his other albums too, of course. Low Slobotomies, then you have all the session work and guest appearances and stuff. And that just always blows my mind, the fact that Steve Lukather has literally worked with everybody. And if you'd like to dive a little deeper into Lukather's musical universe, I did have a lesson with Guitar Player Magazine. That was back in January 2017 with Steve Lukather's Chromatic Fantasies, and that kind of reveals some of his signature licks and chromatic ideas on the guitar. I highly recommend, you know, jump in and find that lesson and work with that if you want to dive a little deeper. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, Toto's been on tour this year, and unfortunately I haven't had a chance to catch them yet, but I did notice some footage that was uploaded to a Facebook group that I'm a member of. It's the Dogs of Oz Toto Fan Page America group on Facebook, and Nick Carter is the guy that shot this footage. Great job, Nick. And in this footage, Steve's basically strutting his stuff during Kingdom of Desire, and it's about a three-minute, you know, extended solo or jam. And he just whips it all out. He's doing, you know, chromatic runs and speed picking, he's channeling Hendrix and tapping and doing all kinds of stuff. I love Steve, and there's some great licks in this episode. So here we go. All right, the first lick's this jazzy melodic phrase, and I love when Lukather gets jazzy because it sounds like rock. He's got distortion and effects and stuff, but then you're hearing these jazzy textures and flavors and phrases and lines. And this is uh, in E minor, and something like this, really cool. <laughs> So we're loosely in E minor, and he's starting right here. So you got that E, F sharp, G, and B, and then you're going to come up and grab. So you're coming up right there, grab that B, then you're grabbing this D and E, and then go back and grab that B, D, and G. So that's really interesting. Kind of rotating note selection, which I love stuff like that. And then you're doing this kind of hammer on pull out between that A and B. And then right here, so that G, F sharp, E to D. And then go back to that F sharp. Grab that F sharp, that E to D, and then you're going to slide C to C sharp, and then end on A right there. Expressive melodic phrase and it's super jazzy. I love that one. Here's another jazzy melodic phrase from the solo, and this features one of Lukather's signature chromatic slurs, like this. <laughs> sharp G and then you're going to end on that D note right there. And when you get to that D note, sustain it with some vibrato. And then right there, that's where you're going to do the chromatic slur. You're going to move that slur from D to B. And then come down. Slide that to E and then slide and shift back to C sharp. Like that. Like that. Really intense and really 
cool phrase. I love stuff like that. <laughs> Okay, up next is this frantic Hendrix style bending phrase, and I'm not gonna lie, this is really hard to play, but it's also really cool. Something like this. One more time. So this is tough. Definitely those Jimi Hendrix bends are so hard. The smear, catch bending and stuff, it's really tough. But uh, we're gonna basically have four different bending licks at the beginning right here. So we're gonna start with this. Gonna bend that D to E and then fret that E note three more times and then end on that A right there. Right? Then the second bending lick is this. You're gonna bend that D to E and then catch E and G right there. Then the third bending lick is bend that D to E again and then catch E to B right there on the 12th fret on the high E and B string. So there's three of the four bending licks. This one. And then, and then right there, you're going to do a catch bending lick right there. Bend this D up on the B string, and then you're going to literally catch the 15th fret there on the G. You're going to release that bend on the G, like that. And that catch bending is really hard, because you're going up on one string and ending on a different string. We've talked about catch bending before, that's tough. One more time, really slow. And then one more time all the way through the lick. That's such a tough lick, but I love when Luke at their channels Hendrix like that. It's so cool. And speaking of channeling Hendrix, here's a bonus lick from this footage, and this is really cool. It's basically a tapped bending lick, but it's channeling Jimi Hendrix. And I'll explain in a minute, but the lick something like this. Something like that. One more time. So definitely when you hear this lick, um, basically look at there's kind of uh, imitating the famous, you know, kind of pickup selector switch lick from Voodoo Child. And you'll hear Jimmy do that same idea with that bend. But he's literally, you know, basically fanning or, or kind of moving his pickup selector switch to get that kind of weird kind of vibrato almost sound. Definitely hearing that contrast between the neck and the bridge pickup. That's what gives it that nyah 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 kind of sound. But then Luke there for this lick, he's tapping and kind of mimicking that lick like this. And it's really cool because he starts slow and then when he starts to release the bend, he speeds up the tap and then he bends back up again and he kind of ends it. Down on that E note down there. Of course, I love Hendrix, too. Alright, that's going to wrap this episode of 3 for All with 3 Steve Lukather licks from 2023. And definitely, Steve's been a huge influence on me. I mean, as soon as I realized he was friends with Eddie Van Halen, then suddenly I was instantly a Steve Lukather fan. Just boom. And I definitely remember back in the day, like in high school, some of my metalhead friends would tease me, like, Man, why are you listening to Toto? Because they're amazing, you know, I mean, Jeff Beccaro became one of my favorite drummers of all time. I love Jeff's drumming. And then Lukather, I mean, his vocals, his guitar playing, everything. He has this energy, authority, you know, I mean, he's a living legend walking the earth. He's recorded with everybody. And I've never met Steve, but I've heard he's a really, you know, sweetheart of a guy, really nice guy. You know, really super supportive and, you know, goes out of his way for his fans and stuff. And I've been a fan for a very, very long time. I'd love to meet him, to shake his hand and thank him, you know, for all the great music and inspiration over the years, because there's only one, Steve Lukather, for sure. So anyway, leave some feedback and comments. Please subscribe to Night Lessons, and I'll be back before you know it with more content material. Thank you.